So we're in Hampshire with my good pal Owen Beardsmore of Service UK and it's a beautiful early summer evening which can mean only one thing. Tonight we're after... Robux. Robux. And this is a stunning part of the world. Whereabouts are we? We're in rural Hampshire on the Downlands, a 4,000 acre estate. It's about an hour outside of London and just look at it. It's fantastic isn't it? Yeah, it is. So why have you brought me here tonight? Well, we've uh, got a huge uh, row deer population here and um, we're going to try and get a few cool books in the bag. Yeah, I know we're not after monsters tonight and you have some absolutely magnificent trophies here. We pride ourselves on the management and we've yeah. got some good books about, yeah. Um, we've got quite a few that we've shot already and we've got a few left for the rut and we've got um, a lot of books that we need to mop up that aren't particularly good heads. So that's where we're in tonight, we'll try and get some of that. So what's the importance of taking those out? Why is it going to take those small ones uh, out? Well, the, the estate can only hold a certain amount. Um, we've got to do a, um, a good job so that, that, that they're not doing crop damage within the forest and that. And a lot of these young books are quite aggressive when they get onto the edges of the plantations, do a lot of fraying. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the books we're looking for, ones with not, not particularly a nice shape, uh, anything that's like four, six points, good shape, good body, we're going to leave. Any uh, little scratchy ones, um, hopefully, I know where there's a couple tonight. Perfect, get for you. little scratchy bucks, I am the man for the job. <laughs> and tonight I brought one of these, now you might not have seen this before, actually no, I think you have seen one of these. Yes. New Sour 101 in 308. Now, always use enough gun. Do you think 308 is enough for Roebuck? I love the Sour, and the 308 is my favourite calibre. There you go, so it's all, it was perfect. Topped, of course, with the Zeiss Victory Davari 2.5 to 10x50. I think this bad boy is about 15 years old now, so it's seen some action. So, a little bit of old, a little bit of new, and hopefully, what you're going to put. What are we using? We're using Lapua Mega, 180, sorry, 150 grain Lapua Megas. So, Owen, you can probably see that I haven't just got a new rifle, but I've also got swanky new gear. Lovely. This, boys and girls, is the new Avanti suit uh, from Deer Hunter, their lightweight summer stalking suit in Realtree Extra Green. Perfect for Absolute, Roebuck stalking. Absolutely perfect for the background we're going to be against. And I'm loving it, the, the flatness of it as well, so it's not reflective. So. Yeah, the, uh, the suit's flat, but not quite so much the fella underneath it. flat, not flat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's enough of uh, helping me with my... Uh, <laughs> let's go and have some fun. Off ski, man, let's go. I get locked and loaded, and we're on our way. However, we don't get far. So, Owen, the sun's still pretty high in the sky, and already we're on the buck that you were looking for. Absolutely, it's seven o'clock and he's out. He's just going about his business along his territory. Mm. Uh, we're gonna go and try and sneak down this edge. The wind's in our favor. Yeah. See if we can get a good shot. Well, I can't guarantee the good shot, but for sure if we can have a good stalk, that'll Getting be... Getting within 20 metres. 20 metres? <laughs> the buck is feeding just under the trees and seems to be minding his own business as we sneak in a little closer. We formulate a plan. A bit of open edge there. Yeah. If we get out this side and pop out there, we can just sneak along and get, get down out behind us and you've got a nice shot, yeah? Yeah. yeah. The buck has gone into the trees, but hasn't gone far. We keep scanning the tree line and then move in a little closer. The buck is still in there, but isn't presenting himself for a shot. Near the bottom of the field is a gap in the hedge. We squeeze through and begin to get into position for a shot, but then... The buck begins to leg it down the field and has clearly been spooked by something. Unsure of what spooked him, we look around puzzled and then we find our answer. There you go. There's a roebuck over there near the pylon. He's chasing them all the way up. Look. The jogger is going following the roebuck. It's almost as if he's chasing the roebuck and he has no idea he's there. Right, me to death, that <laughs> so, I have to say that's an unusual experience for an evening stalking. 
Um, there he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we put a pretty good stalk on the uh, on the buck. Got here roughly 80 yards away, I would say. Um, buck's lying down underneath the trees. Everything's perfect, right? It's a beautiful summer evening. And lo and behold... Enter left, jogger. Yeah, out of breath and um, running straight down behind us. Not only that, he ran down behind us, the buck got up, hightailed it, and he has practically followed the buck's footsteps, but even though he doesn't realise the buck is there. Buck's gone up behind the pylon, jogger's followed him. I have a sneaking suspicion we won't be seeing him again tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll take a look for him in the morning. Yes, I think so. Nice hunt, though. <laughs> so, I mean, how many times is that? is that? Is that a regular here? Never happened to me before in all my years. I know, lucky. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful to be part of those once-in-a-lifetime experiences? <laughs> I know, unfortunately, it didn't go our way, though. OK, well, there's plenty more country out there. we plenty of light left, haven't we? Yes, we Come have. On. As the sun begins to fade in the evening sky, we continue our search for the management buck. In the next field, we spot another young buck on top of the hill. We move into position to look for a shot as the buck feeds away quietly. I get into position for a shot, but the field looks empty, and we think the buck has made a run for it. But as a huge military helicopter makes its way over the fields not far from us, the sound spooks the deer and he stands. I get the rifle up, but he's turned and bounces away into the thick stuff without giving me chance of a shot. We got into a pretty good position, but that should not came across. And then he lay down in the field. He stands up, but all I can see is his ass. And then, as you saw, I tailed it straight for the woods. They just don't want to be shot today, I don't think. As the sun fades further, we take a change of tack and get into a blind just a little further down the road. So it's an important safety lesson, always unload the rifle before crossing a fence or climbing into a high seat. Now that's one of the great things about the Sauer 101. You can actually cycle the bolt to remove around without taking the rifle off safety. So it's impossible for it to fire. And then quickly reload. Once again. In the chamber, nice and quiet. With the rifle ready again, we sit patiently and wait, but Owen assures me this is a hot spot for roe deer. I had my son sitting up here a couple of weeks ago, I had some Belgian clients and he was just spotted. And he sat here and uh, he saw 12 deer from here on this field. Eight of them were bucks. Most of them were just young bucks, which had been kicked out of the bigger one into this little bit of a coffee bar area. So that's why we're sitting here tonight. I only let him shoot a fox, so he was a little bit upset about that. Yeah, but he was. It's not long before there's action in the field. Two roe deer are running and playing right in front of us. Then a huge buck comes out, and all we can do is admire him. He's not what we're here for today. Then there's another row in the wooded area behind Owen. And a final deer just a little further away, none of which are either shootable or offer a shot. Time to call it a night. Some you win, some you lose. But at least it's been a beautiful evening of deer stalking. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, air gun, gear and bow hunting videos on YouTube.